You know, one of the worst fucking things ever is, is to be a beautiful woman, you know, and you're with a really successful guy, you know, and you just go around to parties and then you just you just stand next to the guy going, is he going to introduce me? Is he going to introduce me? You get one time, he's like, hi, and then you just stand there. The other night I did a gig and there was this there was a scene afterwards and there was all these fucking, you know, rich people with their beautiful wives. And I just, I don't know. I just started watching the wives after a while. I don't know. Why don't they peel off and talk to each other? It's sort of a weird thing where they just got to stand there smiling. You can see their face hurting. You know, their feet hurt from the fucking pumps. It's fucking brutal. If you're a beautiful woman, what you should do, you got to marry like a fucking six who just can't believe that he's with you because he'll let you go out and wear some fucking flatties, some moccasins. He doesn't, you don't have to jack it up in the air and stand there smiling next to him like one of those fucking psychos on The Price is Right waiting to fucking act like they're amazed about a washer and a dryer. You got to stand next to your fucking guy who's wearing a sport coat trying to cover up his fucking man tits and you got to sit there smiling like you're happy. You know, putting your fucking makeup on like some clown that's about to be shot out of a fucking cannon. You don't need that shit. What are you doing? They got to start. Well, I tell you, these fucking good looking women that marry these really successful guys and then just stand next to them smiling, you know, for the whole fucking evening. Like a stewardess at the end of a flight, except the fuck it takes four hours for, the, for everybody to get off the plane. Goodbye. Thank you for flying. Hi. <laughs> you know whose fault that is? It's their fault. It's their goddamn fault for getting yourself into that fucking position. At some point in the relationship, you got to say, listen, hey, Mark, sit down. We got to talk. Guess what? Fucking Susie ain't putting on the shoes tonight. All right? Deal with it. I'm not standing next to you. Smile. You want to go to a fucking brunch and stand next to me smiling with some aftershave on for fucking four hours? I didn't think you did. Shut up. I'm not finished. At some point, you got to have that conversation, you know? I'm not trying to be mean here. This is supposed to be empowering. I'm saying you have the power to not just fucking stand there smiling like a goddamn... I don't know what, I don't know what it is. You know? I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't even know if I saw that or I watched an episode of House of Cards. You know, House of Cards, I last like three I lasted like three episodes. I just got sick of him fucking turning to me, talking to me. It's like, dude, will you just live your life? Stop talking to me. That right there is the Secretary of State. He doesn't know that I'm fucking his wife. Well, oh, shut up. I get it. I get it. Just stop talking. What is this? The Wonder Years? For adults? Um, oh God, I'm in a grumpy fucking mood. And I love Kevin Spacey. Why would I say these things? Why would I say these things? Because I'm mentally fucking exhausted. And I got another eight minutes where I got to run my fucking yap. Running my yap on the Thursday afternoon podcast. Talking about issues. Um, what else? I, I don't know that I have anything else. I still haven't watched Peaky Blinders because I'm trying not to drink. And there's no way to, to watch that show and not want to fucking start just pounding. Maybe I'll wait till like the 4th of July. You know, I'll just watch. That's what I'll do. That's a good way to spend the 4th of July. I'll ignore my wife and just get blind drunk watching a show that she can't understand. You know, I put on the subtitles, but she, she, Nia's just not into it. She just doesn't give a fuck. We actually had this, we had this argument the other night, right? She goes, to, when we go to bed, right, she puts on the TV and she always has her shows on. And what's fucking hilarious to me and she's always coming at me about my temper and my yelling and flipping out, screaming at lamps and shit, or yelling at the TV or my computer. Ugh. Me and my computer, if you ever heard the way I yell at my fucking computer, you know, like that couple that just needs to fucking break up? You know, we, we got in my neighborhood, dude, I'm telling you, like fucking two houses up. They, they've been very good lately, you know? But I'm telling you, there's like times like you're literally like waiting to hear the gunshot. It's like just fucking insane the way they scream at each other. It's the most unhealthy fucking relationship, you know, I've ever heard. And I got to be honest with you, man. You know, sometimes I hear it and I just I go out on my porch and I, ju I just listen, you know, light up a cigar and just enjoy it like it's a show. Now I'm fucking with you. I don't. Um. 
But anyways, so she's always getting on me about my temper and shit. You know what's fucking hilarious? Almost every fucking show she watches, it's just a bunch of people screaming and yelling at each other. Those reality shows that are just wall-to-wall clams, that's all. I mean, you would think all these feminists out there who are sitting there trashing men up and down, all the bad stuff we do to them, admittedly, you know what I mean? We make you stand next to us and smile for an entire fucking party. You know, oh, I'm sorry, this is my wife. Oh, I'm sorry, this is the person I committed my life to. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I, not, did I not even acknowledge that you were fucking here? They deal with that all fucking night, right? All that bullshit. I know we do that shit, but you would think that these fucking feminists, right? You, you'd think that they, they would have issues with these fucking reality shows because the way they depict women is, I, I don't give a fuck how many pairs of shoes, how big the fucking house is, how much jewels they got hanging off of them. They're still going to bitch. They're just fucking bitching each other out. She was watching one of these shows, right? And there was just like, I don't know, 15. It seemed like there was 15 or 20 of them. So, you know, there was, it was probably just three. But that's the amount of noise a fucking woman can make, right? Three of them will sound like 15. It's like their defense mechanism because, generally speaking, they can't beat the shit out of men. But if they just start complaining, it just sounds like a platoon and you back down, right? Instead of giving all three of them one of those Mo slaps, you know, when all three stooges would get slapped at once. Um Anyways, one of the episodes I saw, like, you know, like I said, it sounded like 15. So realistically, it was probably like six of them, right? They, they went to, like, Rome or some shit. And I'm thinking, all right, finally, they got these fucking women out of this cul-de-sac. Now they, can, now they can be excited to be in Rome. They go to fucking Rome. They do the same goddamn thing. You know, this bitch come up to me, start talking about, it's like, you're in Rome, you dumb fuck. Go look at something. Go eat some food. I know it's just a show, but whatever. She watches that shit. I'm just laying there. I hate the fucking show. I'm trying to go to sleep, and I just, you know, she just watches these fucking shows where they scream and yell at each other. Now she's watching a fucking show that's about a show that's a show that's like that. It's a show about uh, one of those reality shows, like The Bachelor. You know what I mean? And, and I don't know. I, I don't, I don't, what, 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 what the fuck do I know, right? 